All right, so What Child Is This? This is my second Christmas song for 2021. I put up I Saw Three Ships last weekend, and, you know, that was a more complex and uh, upbeat kind of positive major key Travis pick kind of a thing. And, of course, this one is a lot more somber, uh, being in a minor key and a lot slower. But the upside is it's a lot simpler to play. So hopefully if last week's was too much for you, um, you'll be able to cope with this one. Anyways, I have a tab for this. In fact, I have tabs for all my Christmas arrangements. They're on my website. And I also have my Christmas album up there, too. It's uh, up to 12 songs now, so uh, definitely check that out. All right, so let's get into this. We're in standard tuning. We've got the capo on the fourth fret. And we're going to start with this lick. Right, love that last chord. Very Greg Lake, you know, maybe it's Lake and Palmer type of sound. So what we're doing there is uh, from the capo, everything's relative from the capo, right? So we've got the fifth fret to the eighth fret, and we're gonna pinch the open A in the fifth, hammer on the eighth, and then hammer on from three to five, and then hammer on from open to three, and use your middle finger for that last one. We've got first finger on B3 to open E. And then we've got uh, G5 to open E. And then we're going to go. That's open B to uh, G5 again, but I'm replacing my third finger with my first finger, so I'm set up for that last chord, which is, you know, obviously keep that there. Keep your uh, G, G5 and then D7. Play all six strings. So that whole thing. All right. Love that chord. Now the song starts. We're in A minor. Just quickly go through the chords. It's C, right? G, E minor, A minor. And then it's like an F, action F6, <laughs> do, 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 E7, or an E. I use both in this arrangement, and that's really about it for the chords. Um, one time I'll go up there, which is just an A minor. We're going to start like this. first cycle. All right, so we're going to start with the first finger on the G string, and then we're going to pinch A and B. And we're going to climb that up. So B3, A2. To the C chord, and just play the A string and the high E. I'm going to pull off that F note, and hopefully let it ring play this G chord, which actually is just um, E3 and B3. Open B, and then it's E minor chord, and we're just plucking, pinching G and E. We're not even playing those two, but I just do it anyways because out of habit. chord and pinch E and B. G string and then we're going to play both the um, A and the D string. Now we fretted that uh, D2. All right so So 
So that ending is open and plays E7 and that's D4 and then pinch the A and the G strings and then we do the slick. So D string, G string, uh, that's A3. to D2, and pinch the A and the G. Okay, sounds a lot more complicated than it is. So that whole bit so far from the intro. Right now we're going to repeat it, but we're going to embellish it a little bit. So we're going to go. All right, so we're just adding notes here. There, the D string and the G string. Adding the G string on that figure. So. that D string there. Now this is where the tab might help you out because there's quite a few notes going on here. G again. D with my first finger and G2 with my second finger. Oh, I hit the low E. Love that chord. It's like an F6. So that is. We're going to pinch the E string and the B string hit that open D because that's an E7 right so, so that's open D string and then we're gonna hit the A and the G and then we're gonna move our little finger to E4 and we're gonna hit the D string and then the low E And then we repeat. And we're gonna go up there. So that last one is a little trill. And I actually hit the A minor now like just that because that puts me in a better position to get that arpeggio up a little higher so and just straight arpeggio now we're going to go into the chorus and that's just a, a G chord get our a high G up there with a little finger and we're going to go Pinching G, B, and E with our three fingers and uh, the A note or the <laughs> A string with our thumb. And arpeggiate it, D, G, B. And then we do that thumb arpeggiation there. And then, right, uh, E2, open E.
already know all that. And we're back to this. All right. And now uh, we're just going to go back and do the simple form, which is what we did at the start of the song. We go through that and we're... Um, that to end it and then we just end it with the lick all right so that's it um, let's just play through the whole thing one time go back to the beginning right and the ending is just all right and that is it for this one a really a uh, beautiful melody and I believe this song was written in 1865 so it's 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 ancient and it's the kind of thing where, you know, I didn't embellish it very much at all in my arrangement because it's just such a pure and strong, uh, beautiful melody. Just it doesn't need anything, right? It just sort of speaks for itself. So anyways, I hope you get something from the lesson. I hope it helps you to play it. And uh, make sure to check out my tabs and my Christmas album and everything on the website. And yeah, we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>